Hi people and I'm back cooking again and today I'm going to be doing another recipe I pinched off the internet it's a minced meat well it's minced meat potato spud potatoes and a lot of other things that that's going to be added I think you can see the ingredient. Put your glasses on, Kay. You might be able to see it better, yes. Oh, you can see them, which is the spudgers are in there. I can't lift that up because they're not. Uh, the onions are in there, garlic in there, salt, and it doesn't say pepper, does it? Turn it round. It does now. And in there are tomatoes, and I've got some mincemeat that I'm put the pan on and it's um, well it's going to start cooking right now you can see the meat is starting to cook I before I put the meat in I put three Dessert spoons of oil in. Now I'm thinking it's just about right to add honey ends. I don't know if you could see them, but The honey ends are still a bit frozen, so we'll see if we can get them in the middle of the pan. And I'm going to let that, and then I know I'm going to show you that's garlic. Now I think there's too much in there, and I oh. No, I'll leave that one. That's a story for another day. And uh, well, I'm just gonna I'm gonna put half when this is melted. I'm gonna put half of that garlic what you saw in here. Now the honey in. I'm I breaking it up with my meat nippers or my potato potato nippers, whichever you want to call them. They are nipperers for the same thing. Well, the nipperers for the same thing. Right, so like I said, I'm going to put that bit of garlic in. That bit. So, and let that cook for a while. I can see the uh, oil underneath. Potatoes are boiling, I need to send them down because I don't want them to. I do want them soft. You kick that camera once more, girl. I swear I'm switching it off. It does say, while it. while it's cooking, <clears throat> to add saltier and pepper there we are and then to mix that in let's mix that in mix that all in and as you can see the meat is that's red still that bit why is that red and as you can see most in fact I would say now I should have got my wok down for this Hi walk, too high up for me. So yes, yeah, some of it's doing. I'm gonna let it all I'm gonna keep doing it over, not constantly. I'm gonna let it cook. Get off. Get off. Get off 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 off. Alright then, don't get off then. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the, gonna keep turning it over until it's all done, until there's no red bits left. And that'll be done right I've, I've turned every bit of mince over 
Why do you keep taking your glasses off? Because they're for short vision, not long vision. Is that right? A bit, a bit nearer, did it go? Yeah, a bit nearer. Or oh, more like that with the camera nearer. Right, I have tried to turn it over. I will have tried to turn it over. I have turned it over. There is no red bits that I can see. But then again, we don't actually go on my eyes because my eyes are rubbish, which I have never made a secret of. But I will let you into a secret. I found another bag of garlic in my freezer today. Yes, it was near the bottom. I'm clearing it out. I'm clearing my freezer out again. Right, there we are. That looks perfect to me. A bit of red there. Is that red? Pink? Red? Whatever, you call it, whatever colour you call it. But yes, I've turned it all over and, well, like I said, none of it is red as far as I'm concerned. So, we'll just wait now for the spud taters to get done and then we'll get on with the rest of the recipe. Right, so the meat is now 100% done. I have just tried the spud taters and they're still... Well, they slide off the fork, but not instantly. And I prefer them to slide off the fork instantly. So I'm going to turn this mincemeat off because I don't want it burning. Uh, which ring is it? Right, turn that off. Or turn it down to number one so it's not cooking again. And while I'm waiting for this potatoes, gives me a time to finish my bottle of diet cola off. Now I have just tried the potatoes and they didn't come out of the pan when I stabbed them with a fork. So that means they want draining and mashing. Now, it did say to mash the spud taters with uh, gar oh, garlic. With, oh, I can't remember. Oh, with butter and parsley. Well, okay then, done my best. There wasn't much parsley left, but anyway, I keep forgetting to get some on my shopping list. So what I'm going to do now is, the bit I did not want to do is... Now, uh, my hands are washed. Is... Can you see what I'm doing? I'm making a bit of potato into a bowl and I'm putting it in a dish. I'm going to show you with one. Hold on, I've got to wash my hands. I can't cope with this. I'll show you one and then, well, you'll get the idea for the rest of them. Right, now that's the potato in there. Now it does say to make a well. Now I did get two spoons. Oh, that camera keeps clicking. I keep thinking it's clicking off. But it does say to make a well. Bit deeper, if you don't mind. Bit deeper. Bit deeper. That it says to make a well. Now that to me is a well. And it does say you can put little bits of ham in. That's not cut up very well, is it, Kay? No, it isn't. And then it says to put, get some mince meat. Oh, please don't let that be hot. Ah, because you couldn't see, man. Right, it says get some mince meat. Now, it does say to roll it in a bowl. Oh, hold on a minute. I've done something wrong. I haven't put the tomato, tomatoes in. I forgot to add the tomatoes. They were stood on the side. <laughs> they were stood on the side of the cooker waiting to go in. So these are chopped tomatoes. It just said a can of tom um, tomatoes of your choice. Well, that means you can have uh, 
um, chopped tomatoes, um, uh, full tomato, whatever you want, it's your choice. I prefer chopped. Now we're back to the meat going in. Get that bit out. Don't burn me, don't burn me, don't burn me. It doesn't burn me good. I can't stand skin on Tommy Arters. Yuck, 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 yuck. Please tell me you can see what I'm doing. Yes, just about. I have put some mincemeat in the well of the potatoes I made. Might need a bit more. Oh, that's fallen out. Never mind. That's fallen out. Oh, dear, dear, dear. What are we going to do about that? Oh, dear, dear, dear. Now, it's now the lady in the video, she did put cheese on top of hers. Well, we know Lee don't like cheese. So, I've done some cheese. Oh, it's there. So, I'm going to do a couple of... Uh, um, non cheese and a couple of cheese and you will see them as they before they go in the oven right there are them all done so on the ones that haven't got the ham in it says cheese on top well we all know I love cheese but don't tell anyone it's a secret. No, it isn't a secret. Everybody knows I like cheese. I've never made a secret. But anyway, yes, that's a lot of cheese on there. Some cheese. I can't put more on if I could. So they, 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 they are going in the oven for, I don't know, about two or three minutes just to warm them all up, melt the cheese. I'm going to put some oil, oil in the bottom of it and hopefully it goes all the way around. Right, by the look of it, the cheese has melted, but was it before it melted, it fell off. <sighs> Story of my life. But anyway, I'm gonna get one out, put it on a plate, and obviously then do the taste test. I have took a portion out to get cooler, to cool down, oh my word, if you can think of your words, Kate. So that is your end product of, well, I'd say mincemeat in spudtators. Now before I go into the tasting and everything, I just want to say I was dreading making this meal. But anyway, you can see there. So here goes with, well, get a good fork full of everything. Mm, 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 mm. You can taste the creaminess of the of the spud taters, even though I didn't get that many on. But yeah, the mincemeat's nice. Obviously, the cheese is nice as well. So yeah, that's it. I, yes, I think that's fantastic. That's brilliant. Right, cases. It's nice. I can't stop eating. <laughs> But yeah, Kay said it's nice. There's going to be a link in the description to my merchandise. If you like what you see, please keep viewing me. If you want to give me a thumbs up, please do. If you want to leave a comment and a recipe, please feel free the more the merrier. And if you haven't subscribed or you know someone who hasn't subscribed, get them subscribing, get yourself subscribing, get everybody subscribing. Thank you. Bye.